All right, it is recording. Okay, so now that we've gone over different types of triangles, like right, angle, right triangles and equilateral triangles, we're gonna start using some of that information in different kinds of equations. So we're gonna start off with the Pythagorean theorem. It might seem really scary, don't worry, we're gonna unpack it together. Um, so basically, that's just this equation, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So one thing before we even get into what it means, it's important to know that we only use this when we're talking about right triangles. So remember, what's a right triangle? A 90 degree angle. Yes, perfect. So it's a triangle that has a 90 degree angle. Um, so there are two different parts of a triangle, of a right triangle. We have the legs, which are the two smaller chunks. So those are gonna be A and B. It doesn't really matter which one is which, you could switch them up however you want, whatever you're feeling on that day. And then we have the side C, which is the hypotenuse. So that's gonna be the longest side of the triangle. So that's always gonna be on the other side of the equal sign. Um, so rather than just sitting and trying to talk to you, I figured we could just jump right in and start doing one and see if we can kind of see how this works. Um, I'm kind of in the way. If I write here, can you guys all see that? Okay. So I already drew this one. So we have two legs that are 7 and 24, and we're trying to figure out what this other side is. Um, so just like normal, I'd like us to make sure that we write our equation first. It's just good practice for us to remember, and eventually, hopefully, after doing it enough times, you'll have it memorized for when you have to take the ACT. Um, and then we're going to plug in. So we know that this is A and this is B, so 7 squared plus 24 squared equals C squared. That makes sense to everyone? And we know that squaring is just multiplying a number by itself. Um, you don't necessarily have to know these numbers off the top of your head. You will be able to use a calculator. Um, I did this before. So 49 plus 576 equals C squared. So then we add those numbers together, we get 625, and then we have to get C by itself. So we take the square root to get rid of that squared. Does that make sense? All right, okay, cool. So now we're gonna do a different one, and I'm just basically gonna be writing, and then I want you guys to kind of tell me what we do. Um, so we know we start with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So does anybody know what our a is going to be? Olivia? 9. Yeah. Or 12. True. Perfect. So like you already said, so then the other one is going to be 12. So then we're going to keep completing this equation. So 9 squared is 81 plus 144 equals c squared. We add those two numbers together. So then how do I get c just down to being by itself? Jen? You square root. Yep, take the square root. Fifteen. Right. Like I said, you don't necessarily need to be able to do the mental math. Um, you'll be able to use a calculator on it. So then we're going to start doing some applied work. Technology is not my friend. OK, well, the projector's not working. So I'm just going to read you. We have a story problem. Um, so again, just trying to use this in an applied setting. So let's say two friends are meeting at a playground. Mary is already at the park. But her friend Bob needs to get there taking the shortest path possible. So go ahead and take notes. I see most of you are already doing that. Go ahead and try. You're going to try to figure this out on your own. Bob has two ways he can go. He can follow the roads getting to the park, first heading south three miles, then heading west four miles. The total distance covered following the roads will be seven miles. The other way he can get there is by cutting through some open fields and walk directly to the park. Apply the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the distance for the second option and determine the best route for Bob. So while you guys are all working, I'm just going to help if anybody's stuck. Um, so we have, this is Bob. This is the playground. So we know that he can take the road and go three miles south and four miles west, or he can try to figure out how to go through the fields. So that's kind of what your mental picture should be like. 
So go ahead and keep working and I'm gonna circle around and make sure we're all doing okay. 